police in the western region has begun the search for a gunman or for gunmen who allegedly shot and killed a man after robbing him of his money at a manfo in takrade the man and his wife who reside in switzerland came to ghana to monitor their building project they were buying some building materials when they were attacked by six armed men on motorbikes the man charles kwachi is said to have struggled with one of the robbers when he attempted to snatch a bag containing different currencies, including 12,700 CDs and 6,000 Safer. He was shot in the chest in the process and was rushed to the Takrati government hospital, where he later died. Regional correspondent in Natalia Kwanza went to the scene of the incident and joins me with more details. Hello, Ina. Ina spoke to some eyewitnesses, one of them who took the people uh, who were injured to hospital. Ina has been interacting with him. But the way ambulance <laughs> Opposite station <laughs> that's uh, in Natalia Kwanza they speaking to the man who took the victims to the hospital uh, there who is recounting what he we went through um Ina 
Talia Kwanza is joining me online but let me just tell you what the man has been saying he starts by saying that they were seated at the opposite side of the Anaji taxi station and then they heard the uh, what sounded like gunshots so they wanted to be sure that what was happening wouldn't affect their vehicles and when they came closer they found the man dead in his car with his wife seated nearby they put him on the back seat and took him to the hospital he says that they called for an ambulance at the time they got to the hospital he was barely breathing but the ambulance came in time but then the man was already according to him he believes that the man was already dead at the time the wife was traumatized at that point she could hardly speak any word and then they heard he, he he goes on to talk about the fact that they heard about four gunshots and they are very scared and then he talks about what they want to do what they can't do the security that they expect in the area ina is joining me once again on the line hello ina hello gifty ina so this is for the person who uh, took the people to the hospital he's obviously uh shocked at what happened he's asking for uh, uh for some kind of security uh, beef up in the area you've been speaking to the western region police pro uh this the, the, t what assurance does he give on the back of this concern that the residents in the area have well you see she says that the security agency especially the police is not sleeping they have not sleep uh, slept since yesterday and they are assuring the public that they are going to do everything possible to give them uh, the needed security they need, they are going to beef up security. Uh, let's listen to her first. Yesterday at about 2.45 p.m., uh, we received information that uh, a couple had been shot at a mouth for a suburb of Takradi. Uh, we went to the scene, information that the police are not sleeping. We are calling on members of the public to also get us credible information which can lead to the arrest of these people. That really we've never witnessed uh, such robberies. So it's very worrisome well even to us, uh, the police in the, in the region. So I wish to assure members of the public that uh, we are putting all measures in place. One, to ensure that we get the corporate. Two, also to provide security for them because I know with this incident, people might be worried about their faith when they go to town. I want to assure them that we are uh, working very hard to ensure that we provide the necessary security for them as they go to work, as they go to market, as they go to town to do any business there. And, but we also want to plead with members of the public to get us information because looking at what happened yesterday, it was daylight, there were a lot of people there. Anybody who have any little information that might help in getting these people, we will really appreciate it. Thank you. You know, the police is looking for information, but the gentleman you spoke to, like the others, I believe, at this particular taxi, taxi station, do not feel safe enough. What more have they been telling you about the security concerns they have, given that there have been at least three of these attacks in the last uh, one week or less? Yes, Gifty, so um, these residents uh, who, uh, especially those around uh, the robbery incident yesterday, or who fear to speak on camera uh, because they feel that if these men could identify any of them, for one of them, he said that he saw the one with the um, the gun without had not covered uh, his face. So he's sure that they might have seen them. And so they would want the police and other agents, even if they can add the military, to be patrolling places. And then there was also a concern raised by some of them that yesterday when the incident happened, there was light out. And they, they think that if it wasn't lights out, there could have been some communication. That is what they are saying. Mm -hmm. And so they want a lot of security measures to be put in place because they feel they are not safe. And then with the mobile money vendors, which happened uh, on Friday and Saturdays, when I... It looks like I have lost uh, Ina Talia Kwanza there, but she was just giving us some information about the recent uh, robberies or suspected robberies that have been recorded in this particular area. Now, what we wanted also to find out from Ina, as part of the police's uh, efforts at clamping down on these people, these gunmen, 
was to find out whether or not there are there is a possibility of any CCTV camera at all in this um, area. We're unable to reach Ina at this point, but we'll keep our, our eyes on that particular story.